starting with rain middle of the week. Not ideal, especially now that it's colder. Mm -hmm. I know and so many people are looking forward to spring break mm -hmm. coming up so soon. Yeah, you guys have been using the S word like Henry yeah. was yesterday yeah. too. We are still uh, on, on that and right now we were holding off until we got more model agreement. Right. And, and yeah, there may be some snow on the ground oh. Saturday morning oh as Metro and some others are starting break. I mean the cherry trees are already starting to bloom mm -hmm. the tulip trees and then we're going to maybe have snow. This isn't unheard of. Is it our favorite? Well, it depends on where you're from, but we are going to be dealing with the potential for winter weather. Regardless, whatever falls will not be with us for long. So big changes are on the way. So when it comes to today, we are looking at that cloud cover that's going to hang with us over the next bit that it will slowly ease out, especially areas west of I-65. The rain is almost finished. Then we head our way into Friday and Saturday. It's going to be Friday night going into Saturday morning where we will have the potential for that Arctic blast to really just take over and transition the rain into some winter weather, particularly some snow. Regardless of what falls, it is going to be downright cold. Saturday highs are only going to be around freezing and then Sunday morning is going to be the coldest morning we have had in over two months with a hard freeze in place. So if you think it's chilly now, just wait a little bit, but don't worry. It will not last forever. Currently overlook at Music City. We're at 38 degrees. You make your way into Clarksville. A lot of cloud cover out there to start off the morning. 37 to kick things off. The Power 5 radar is picking up some showers and yes, it's a little bit of snow mix over in parts of Bowling Green. A lot of that not even making its way to the ground, but wouldn't be surprised if you did see one or two of those little flakes flying. You'll notice the majority of the rain did take place while we were sleeping and has since moved its way out. So temperature wise, we are in the 30s and low 40s. You add a little wind and it does feel like we are in the 20s and 30s all across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. The good news is we are going to warm. The bad news is it's still going to be below the average high of 60. So by lunchtime, we'll be in the upper 40s. After lunch, we're going to head into the low 50s. Now we rebound even more so as we make our way into Thursday as well as Friday, but Leland is that Friday night time frame that really does bring that blast of cold air. Yeah, definitely. So an Arctic blast on the way right now, though, it's a cold, chilly morning 39 from Columbia for us. As we start the day, you've had one 100th of an inch of rainfall since midnight. Need to walk the dog. We go yellow for the first couple of time periods with the wet grass that's out there. Uh, this is Frito courtesy of Heather and James Page out of the Donaldson area. And then by the three o'clock hour. We are in the low 50s across the area. Now the clouds hang tough in the eastern county, slowly decreasing clouds from west to east, but Lafayette, Cookville, Crossville, McMinnville clouds all day, keeping you in the 40s through the afternoon. Meanwhile, here is exact track. And so as we make our way through the day, you'll notice the clouds starting to decrease again slowly. Some more clouds roll in overnight tonight, but then for tomorrow, mostly sunny skies on the way. As we jump ahead to Friday morning, Friday morning looks good. Friday midday looks good, but by late day Friday, Friday night, here comes the rain. Then here comes that Arctic blast. Look at this. We've been watching to see what different models say, and they're all kind of agreeing with the fact that there's some snow showers that are coming in for Friday night. Uh, this is a different model, but again, showing some of that snow for Friday night in the Saturday morning. So if it comes in at a pretty good rate, pretty good clip, yeah, there could be some accumulating snow for part of the area Friday night and Saturday morning. For today on our Super 7 day, we're looking for a high right around the 52 degree mark, and so temperatures warming up into the afternoon afternoon and then Nikki D as we make our way into the weekend. Big difference on Saturday <laughs> versus Sunday. I mean, look at that Saturday's high only around 34 degrees. So whatever does fall, we'll try and hang out for a little bit. Temperatures giving us that hard freeze Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon 54 and then we're talking mid to upper 60s Monday and Tuesday. Here's today's weather art. This is thanks to Ty at Leland. A lot of times you know people always think about lightning cloud to ground. Great perspective of cloud to cloud lightning that he has bestowed for us. He's in the fourth grade. We love seeing your weather art. Send it to us, school at newschannel5.com.